Hello guys, Christian Vedder here and today we are doing the first time breath hold challenge with Siriana. Remember to never hold your breath underwater alone. It can be very dangerous and if you pass out underwater while being alone you will most likely drown and not wake up again. If you want to see more of Siriana and what she's up to there is a link to her Instagram in the description and her Instagram name is also in the bottom right of the screen. So now first we're just testing how long she's able to hold her breath just by doing what most people would do if you ask them how long they could hold their breath. She just takes a deep breath and tries to hold for as long as she can. Afterwards we're going to see how much she's able to improve by doing warm up breath holds, correct breathing technique and me explaining to her what she should do and what is happening to her body during the different stages of the breath hold. At the first breath hold she's able to do 1 minute and 8 seconds, which is pretty average and normal for most people. <laughs> now that we know how long she's able to hold during the initial test, we can start working and see how much she can improve. So now we have moved to a different pool and we are going to start with the, doing the correct breathing technique. She is to breathe slowly in for four seconds, hold for about a second and then breathe out for seven to eight seconds. The seconds of breathing do not have to be so accurate that she needs to measure every breath with a clock, but we time her for the first three to four breaths and she is to try to keep that pace of breathing for the next two minutes and then take three deep breaths and hold. While she is breathing I also try to explain to her what contractions is and that she is just to let them happen and not hold them back. Contractions are small or strong contractions you get in your diaphragm because your body is trying to make you breathe. It does not happen because of lack of oxygen but because of buildup of CO2 in your body. So when you get the contractions most people can actually hold their breath much longer. People do experience contractions differently. Some get small and many contractions, some get very hard but fewer contractions and some don't get them at all, like my girlfriend Melanie. So now we are on round two of holding the breath. I have told her to relax as much as possible and almost tried to fall asleep while holding her breath. While she's holding, I don't say anything to her because we don't want her to be thinking about stuff, just relax as much as possible. Just thinking and processing information will use oxygen and she will not be able to hold as long as she can. Just for to save some time, we are speeding up the video a little bit in this round. Uh, since we're doing three rounds, it be, would be a very long video if you're gonna see the whole full breath hold in all of them. But as you can see, only in the first round, knowing what she's doing and doing the correct breathing technique, she's able to do about 2 minutes and uh, 30 seconds. So now we're gonna do more uh, breathing and I'm gonna tell her a little bit more about how she will feel and that she should try to relax more in her body, that she should go through every limb she has, like her calves, feel that they are relaxed, no tension there feel that you, you don't have any tension in the fingers, feel your forearms, feel your arms, your chest, your legs, your thighs, everything. Just try to go through your body in the mind and just feel that everything is relaxing. Especially the jaw you should check because it can be a lot of tension in the jaw. And if you're able to relax your body more, then you're also able to save more energy. She's also supposed to try to get her pulse as low as possible. That is why yoga people are often very good at holding their breath because they practice relaxing. They're much better at relaxing than regular people. The reason why we're also doing warm up breaths is because the body takes some time to get used to the relaxation. In the beginning, for example, for me, when I do breath holds, for the first round, I can't really disconnect. I keep thinking about stuff. 
but after three four rounds i'm completely in my own world if you speak to me i won't hear what you're saying because i'm so relaxed and focused on what i'm doing just drifting away She's now holding her breath again and we're just gonna speed up the video till where she starts getting the contractions. It's not before the very end of this breath hold. Uh, as you can see, she's getting very light contractions and not a lot of them. And uh, that's quite normal for a lot of people. But if you if you look at her stomach now, you can see that she's getting these small uh, contractions, almost looking like cramps. And as I said earlier, this is not dangerous. It's just something that happens because of the buildup of CO2 in your lungs. <laughs> So I'm going to skip the breathe up in this round because we have seen enough of uh, the breathing and it's just the same in every round and uh, skip straight ahead to the final breath hold and as you saw in this previous breath hold she was able to do quite a lot longer than in the previous round so for every round she does she improves a little bit now she actually did uh, a bit more than three minutes 305 306 so let's check what she's able to do in the final breath hold and uh, it is quite an improvement you can also try to check out and see if you can tell when she's starting to get the contractions and just see that how relaxed she is and uh, how she's able to just lay completely still without moving a muscle and uh, just to say this improvement is not for everyone everyone doesn't improve the same way i have done it with some people who are able to, to do uh, one minute and 30 seconds in the first round and then uh, in the last round we do three minutes and we also did it with her uh, boyfriend in uh, we're gonna post that video next week with uh, david and he had a crazy improvement he went from uh, from about two minutes to an insane time for the first uh, first round. So everyone is different. If you are not able to uh, improve as fast as uh, these people, it's totally normal. It just have to work a bit more on it. For myself, I was able to do around uh, 1.30 in the beginning and then uh, uh, it took me around, I think two, three months to get to five minutes. And uh, I was com training completely alone. That I don't mean alone in the pool, but I didn't know any technique or anything. I was just learning as I went ahead, reading on the internet and stuff like that. But with the technique you can see here and the other vi videos you can find on my channel, you can actually learn quite fast how to, to improve. And uh, you just keep training and you'll get better and better. So let's just see how long she's able to do. If you just want to skip ahead to the end uh, when she's coming up, that's okay too. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope you like these videos. If you like these kind of breath hold challenge videos, I'm going to try to do some more of those and try to get some, uh, you know, big Instagrammers and some celebrities to join on this. And uh, let me know what you think about that. And remember to subscribe and uh, give a comment. I also recommend that you check out uh, Siriana's uh, Instagram profile. She lives in Tulum in Mexico uh, most of the year and uh, she has some quite interesting photos and uh, she'd probably appreciate it if you follow her. Have a nice day.